Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Life of Yana. So this is part two of the bracelet, this beaded bracelet. But I want to show you, this is, the, this is the one that I had started on part one. Look how pretty that came out. It is, this is a bigger replica of it. The exact same thing, only this is bigger. Look at that pretty design. And this is it completed. I added the post here, a chain here, a claw here, and you can make it as big or as small as you like. So I did this one as well. And the end of this, so we, we did all the beading. At the end, you just want to tie a single knot and then you want to put some cement glue on it. Here's the cement glue. You want to put the cement glue right here at the, where you tied it. And the simple tie is just a simple tie. Under and over and you tie. I found out that if you tie it twice, then it's hard to get into this little pipe here. It's hard to get in there. So I, um, I only tied it once. This, this, this was really hard to get in, so I had to cut the knots because the knots didn't want to go in. It was too big. So let's go ahead and cut these knots. Let me open this tube up a little bit. Let's go ahead and cut these knots. And you want to cut them really close to where you knot it, but not on the knot itself. Oh, these scissors don't work. Well, let's get some other scissors that do work. How about that? All right. Let's get some other scissors that work. Okay. I don't like these gray scissors because they pinch my hand. I don't know how I hold it. Or if it's just too big, it just pinches my hand. So let's get these cut. Oh, and in tying, you want to grab like, let me move these strands out of the way. So there's the strings and you want to grab the first two and tie them together and then the next two and tie them together and then the next two and tie them together. So then let's you want to put some of that cement glue, let it dry. I waited 24 hours to make sure it was dry. Hmm. I hope this goes into the tube. I don't want it sticking out. I'll leave that one a little bit longer. Okay, let's cut these ones. So here in Texas, it's triple digits. It is too hot. It's too hot for me to handle. Oh, I can't even go outside without wanting to faint. It's too, it's that hot. It really is. It's that hot. And it's a dry heat. It's like you're walking into your oven. There's no moisture in the air. There's no humidity. I don't know which is worse. The humidity, heat, or the, the oven dry heat. I, I don't know. They're both terrible. Okay, so let's get all of these little shavings out. <clears throat> now, you want to grab 
your tube and really you're supposed to use um, 600 glue the glue 600 but I don't have 600 glue so I'm just going to use my cement glue and I'm going to warm this up with my hand a little bit put a little bit in the tube All right, that's enough. Then you want to get your tube and you want to put the tube in. You want to center it right here on the second line right here, the, the, the line where, this, where the string is. You want to put it in there. For my demo one, for this one, it was hard to get in. I don't know if I really like these tubes or not because it really is hard for me at least to get this in. Let me push this little thing up a little bit. Oh, let me use this one. There we go. That out of the way. This is not easy by any means. Not easy at all. It's supposed to slide right in there. But, as you see, I'm having difficulty here. Sliding in those strings. Oh, Jesus. Let's try the other side then. Maybe the other side would be more cooperative. Oh, good Lord. This is terribly hard. Hmm. I mean, this is really, really hard for me. It's supposed to slide in. You put the bead in there, and then the string is supposed to slide in this hole right here. That's not the case for me. Oh goodness, oh, see, look at that. It doesn't want to go in. It's like there, but it doesn't want to go in. But I could tell you one thing, once you get these in, it is not coming out. I'm supposed to wiggle it. Well, no amount of wiggling is getting this in for me. So what I had to do last time was cut some more of this off because it just wouldn't go in. I mean, I like these tubes right here, but they are very hard to work with. So, so difficult. This is what I had to do on this baby bracelet. I just didn't want to go in. So much for tying, but you know, I don't know. It is what it is. Let's try again. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Let me try this other tube. String off. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. See? There it goes. See how you have to like basically cut cut all that string off, otherwise it's not gonna go in. Yay, success, we got it. 
There it is. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue in here. That should do it. Oh goodness, this is always so hard for me to get in this little. There we go. Okay, so we got this in there. Got one side at least. And then you just want to bend this down. I'm going to have to use this because I bent it up. You want to squish it down like that. So that side is done. Now, let's do this side. Now I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna try and get it in with this string because automatically, this is the second time that I've tried to get it in with the string and it doesn't happen. So I'm just gonna cut off more of this string. Jesus. I think the reason why the string doesn't um, fit in there is because the tube is so small. It's only big enough for the for the seed, you know, the the bead seeds, not any type of attachment to it. Let's trim all this off. Okay, so let's get this in. Let me open this up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's push this in. See, there's some string there. Not going to work with the string there. Okay, now it's going in. Oh, oh boy, it always stops me when there's string. string there. Goodbye string. Now look look how easy it is going in now. And there's no string. Let's just get that last bead in there. Of course not. Why? Because there's a string. glue in here oh my goodness that was hard I'm gonna skirt around that issue it was definitely hard so let's go ahead and bend this I'll just use that. Okay. And there it is. So then I just need to attach. Just need to attach these. Clips here. Attach this. Okay. 
And this is the easiest part for me, is attaching the clasps. The clasps. There we go. Let's attach this other one. Uh-oh. Okay. So I have my other clasp here. Let's attach this. Put the claw in there. And you just want to close it up. put this ring at the very end too just to give it a polished look it's a little jump ring and the bracelet's done oops let's make this even there we go Okay, there it is. So there's my two bead bracelets that I made. I don't know what I feel about these clasps. They're really hard to use. Um, but they do get the job done, but they're very, very difficult to get in. So this is it. What do you think of these two bracelets, baby and mama? Give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And y'all have a blessed day.